I'm down at my local American Golf to try one of the most underrated golf club manufacturers that is in the market today. So, let's go and have a look. Now I'm down at American Golf Oxford and this is the range that I basically practice through through the entire winter. However, there's one golf club manufacturer I haven't really touched all of 2019 as pretty much all the main ones, especially your higher end ones, get more of the publicity, get more of the sharehold when it comes to attention. So tonight I'm gonna have a look at the Ben Ross Delta set. A lot cheaper, a lot more value, but is there any less better for your golf game? Let's talk about Ben Ross Delta. Now, this is the non-adjustable, the fixed head was from Ben Ross, which I like the price range from these products, mainly because you can get a driver, a fairway wood, and a rescue for the same price as any high-end driver out there on the market. But the question is, yes, they're cheap. Do they feel cheap? Well, let me tell you this. I hit all three, the rescue, the three wood, and the driver. And even though they're not suited to my game because I have a relatively high club head speed, they felt quality. Not only did that, when I hit them out the heel or the toe, which is always gonna happen with my swing, I got away with it. Because they're high launching, because they're forgiving, you're gonna get away with the bad shots. And yes, there are drivers out in the market that are gonna do this high launch, low spin combination that will send one out of 10, 40 yards further. But if you duff your 60 yard wedge shots anyway, is it really gonna save you that many shots throughout a round of golf? What is gonna save you shots is being able to get away with the bad shots. And this is why I like this product. It's very stripped back, it's very clean, and it's very easy to get on with. Now, they're fixed. Therefore, the shaft that comes with them, and pretty much, unless you get custom fitted for a stiffer shaft in these, you're only gonna be able to test these at any store with a regular flex shaft. But the reason that's good is because the people that should be testing this are in the realms of a regular flex shaft, i.e. if you hit your driver 180 yards and less, this is a particular good driver combination for you to have a look at. Say you've got a driver that you've had 10 years, eight, 10 years old or you've had a stiffer shaft in your driver or woods, this is a good combination to come and have a look at. The reason I also like these is because you can come down to an American Golf or a store and actually test them, use them on a monitor, get a feeling for them, and therefore, if they go further than your driver, and you get more from your three-wood, and you get more from your rescue, then it might be worth investing, and you don't have to spend a thousand pounds to get that kind of experience. Ben Ross is one of the last brands to do this. I look at brands such as Cobra, and I look at brands such as Wilson, and they're all moving towards the higher end bracket of the market. It'd be very interesting to see how expensive their drivers are with the higher end, such as your TaylorMade and Callaway. Ben Ross is the last manufacturer that's still rooting for the budget line of golf clubs, and they're producing good line of golf clubs. They still got the same expensive shafts as all the other manufacturers out there in the market. The head design still feels quality. Yes, it might feel a bit lighter, and yes, actually, to be honest, when I was hitting the driver, it sounded a bit more hollow. However, I was still hitting great golf shots, even out the heel, out the toe, high, low, and it's only gonna cost me a fraction of the price. Now, you might be thinking, Simon, what about ball speed? Does the face of your three wood, your rescue, and everything else produce enough ball speed similar to the other manufacturers out there? Well, at the moment, forget the ball speed element. Launch and spin rate is your friend. And if you hit a very low ball, i.e. you struggle to get the ball up in the air, all that ball speed is pointless, relative, not even worth thinking about, because you need to get the ball high. This is what these clubs are designed to do. They haven't got the adjustable weighting, they've got the weighting at the back. And even though this is the Delta, the more power-based head, 
against the rest of the market out there, all this thing is going to do is help incline your launch angle. It's gonna help increase your spin rate so that ball stays in the air longer, and therefore that is gonna equal enough distance. Not even to mention the fact because this driver is very light in the head, you're potentially gonna swing it faster than a lot of the clubs out there currently in the market. So you might be thinking, Simon, this is too good to be true. Why would it be so much cheaper than the rest of the manufacturers out there? They don't have massive tour bills. They don't spend tons on marketing. Therefore, they're able to produce clubs that can compete, and I'm not saying they're putting as much into their R&D as the other guys. However, what I am saying is they're able to compete at the amateur level, the high to mid handicapper level, to produce a driver that does the job for your game. That's gonna help you with the bad shots and it's gonna help launch the ball higher off the fairway, in the rough and off the tee. That's why Ben Ross is a very under underrated manufacturer in the game and something you definitely should be looking at if you want to get new clubs walking into 2019 or even 2020. Guys, let me know your thoughts. What do you think? Do you agree that Ben Ross is one of the most underrated club manufacturers out there in the market? As always, if you like this video, leave it a like. Subscribe if you are new. Catch you guys later.